Hey guys, your boy Being Modest, and today I'm going to be teaching you a glitch that you can do in FIFA 17 career mode to go ahead and maximize the potential of all your good young players. Now, if you guys are familiar with what this is, it's called the Loan Out Glitch. Why is it called that? Well, it's happens when you bring back a player from loan sometimes it glitches their potential and they can kind of either go higher or lower now once you take note at the value right here on Pereira is worth 4.8 million you need to take note of that and there's another parameter we just recall them from loan and we go ahead and look him up he is now worth 5.5 million in value that means that his potential has gone up and now his status is exciting prospect it should read showing great potential because his potential is around 85 85 potential to 80 is showing great potential anything above about 86 to i'd say 88 is exciting prospect and anything from 89 and above is potential to be special that's the order and that's kind of what that status will tell to you guys now we're going to try it again we have Ananyanze loaned out. He's worth $7 million. We're going to go ahead and recall him from his loan spell. And let's see if he glitches right here. And we're going to go ahead and look up. And there he goes. Went up by a full million in value and is an exciting prospect. So those are the two parameters. Sometimes the status will not change. But the value will go up. Which means, you know, that their potential has risen. But it could be the other way too. The value could not change. But the status can actually go up or down. Which is kind of interesting. Now, if you don't have any players already out on loan, there's how you do it from scratch. As you can see right there, we just put, you know, we asked for a short loan. You don't want to spend too much money. We wait in the transfer window until someone wants to come around and take Timothy Fosu Mensa out on loan. Usually it's easier if you have a young, high potential player. A lot more teams are more willing to go ahead and take those players off your hands for a season. We loaned him out. And this is what you want to do, a key thing. Some might find this cheating, but um, you want to save because the potential when you bring that guy back can either be good or or bad and now I'll show you examples of each one of them but you want to go ahead and save advance it although you don't really need to advance it it's you know it's it's uh, doesn't really seem to affect it all too much but I advanced it one day just to make sure and we're gonna go ahead remember the value right here he's an exciting prospect already but he's worth 2.4 million and 71 overall and we're gonna go ahead and recall him right here and we're gonna look him up in the squad report and let's see there you go, up to 3.1 million, and he's actually, let's see, and he's exciting prospect. I believe Fosu Mitsa already is exciting prospect, but since his value went up, that means he probably went from, you know, he's, I think, 87 potential, probably up to an 88. Now, you could keep on refreshing and going back in, you know, just reloading your save and to get it so that he could you know eventually get potential to be special we're gonna recall him this time and as you can see he stayed exactly the same his value is 2.4 but now his status is shows great potential that means we've actually lowered his potential and that's why you want to say that is the key guys now if you don't want it to be considered cheating I can kind of see the argument that hey Players go out on loan all the time and sometimes it could make or break them. Sometimes, you know, they were so promising when they went out on loan and when they come back, they never really fulfill their true potential. So, you know, for the sake of immersion, if you're like a realist and you still want to justify using this glitch, I can kind of see how that would go. Um, but but uh, you might be asking, okay, but what about players that already have amazing potentials? We're going to go ahead and put Anthony Martial out on loan right here and he has a potential of 90 one of the highest potential i think he is the highest potential under 21 player in the game and now we're gonna go ahead and work in it and try to bring him back we're gonna go of course save him because i do not want to give up that 90 you know potential overall and remember he was an exciting prospect before um before we put him out on loan and now we're gonna go ahead and bring him back right here Let's go ahead and recall him, 82, remember he's worth 25, he's worth 25 million, and now we're going to bring him back and we're going to see how much he is worth now. And there we go, 83, he actually went up by 1, I think he was 82 right before he left, so it actually just automatically bumped him up. Now he has the potential to be special, <laughs> and he's worth 29 million, so it's all, oh, that's, that's new, in, in years past you didn't actually get like a 1 a one rating increase what is great about this is you know if a player is kind of like stunted in growth or any of that usually it'll jumpstart them and they'll make them kind of grow faster when they're kids and there we go marcus rasher we go ahead and send out uh, we're gonna go ahead he has a potential of 88 an exciting prospect and we're gonna go ahead and bring him back in recall him 
Remember, he was a 76 on his way out. And now, if we go ahead and we take a look at him, he is 77. But now he's only showing great potential. So that's that's interesting. He actually went up by one, but now his potential is lowered. So you still get a little bit of a bump, but not as much. But it makes sense. You know, when you send someone out on loan, your hope is that they actually get something good. But here's what's even better about it. You don't even need a status, okay? If we take a look at James Wilson, he doesn't have a potential of... I think he doesn't even have 80 potential. And this will go ahead and allow you to... Maybe, you know, like Rashford or there are other players that kind of develop throughout the season and you want to actually play with them, but the potentials are way too low. You can use this glitch in order to make their potentials higher, in order for you to kind of enjoy career mode more. So let's say for some reason, who knows, Jamie Wilson goes on the tear of his life, all right? He, and, uh, you know, you know that his he's probably more worth it of like an 84 and 85. Here you go, we recall him, now he's up to 2 million, and now he actually has, shows great potential. Remember before that, his potential was way lower, he had no status, it was just, oh, been in the club since like 2013. So, there you go, and you can repeat this process. You can loan him out again and bring him back, and then he, you can get him up to exciting prospect, and then after that, you loan him out again and you bring him back in, it can get him up to potential to be special. I do not know exactly, like, the parameters. I don't know, like, how low of, uh, <laughs> how low this could go. If you have, like, a potential of, like, 65, I don't know if you could ever get it to this position but it's something worth testing but anyway guys that is going to go ahead and wrap it up this is a quick little video to kind of teach you a, a cute little glitch that you can do in career mode to maximize the potentials and growth of your players and this will actually work on your older players above the age of 23 as well if you don't know you uh, you cannot see the potential of your player after they hit i believe age 23 but as long as you go along with the same rules as they increase in their overall value after their loan spell then it should be absolutely fine you'll know that essentially that you're upgrading your player every single in every single time you loan them out and bring them back in and they have increased in value that pretty much means that they're going to increase in their overalls all right, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, share it with your friends who might also find it helpful, and if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and smash it out for all your goody-goody FIFA 17 career mode content right here. And since you're checking out this video, I assume that you're into career mode, go ahead and check out my Manchester United career mode, it's a pretty good one. Anyway, my name's Pimanos, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird.